y'all welcome to fourth grade chapter eight or sorry chapter 12 lesson eight we're going to go ahead and get started with number two so i went ahead and i wrote it just like we've been doing with the rest of our conversions okay so five weeks is how many days so five weeks when in one week there are seven days so we're going to cancel out our weeks we end in days which is what we want and then five times seven is 35. Okay, do another one, okay? Three years is how many weeks? Well, three years, and in one year, there's 52 weeks, okay? So, 52 times three, okay? Three times two is six, three times five is 15, so it's 156 weeks, okay? All right, one more, guys, okay? Nine hours is how many minutes? Well, nine hours, when in one hour, there's 60 minutes. So nine times six is 54, and then I have a zero to add on, so 540 minutes. Okay, so you guys are gonna go ahead and finish up through seven. I'm gonna go ahead and do number eight with you, okay? And it wants to know which one is more, two years or 14 months. So it's easier when they're both in the same unit. So we're going to turn them both into months. Okay. So two years. When in one year, there's 12 months. Okay. Years, years, we're done. So we're winding up in months, which is what we want. And two times 12 is 24. Okay, so now 24 or 14, two years is more. Just like we've done in all the other ones, guys. Okay, so you guys are going to do from 9 to 13 on that one, and we're going to go down and do number 14. Okay, so Jody practiced piano, a piano piece for 500 seconds. Bill practiced a piano piece for eight minutes. Who practiced longer? Okay, well, let's grab our scrap paper. Okay. And we're going to turn them both into seconds because otherwise we have to divide. It's much easier to multiply. Okay, so we're going to turn eight minutes into seconds. Okay. Okay. So we have eight minutes to turn into seconds. In one minute, there's 60 seconds. Cross cancel our minutes. We wind up in seconds. That's good. Now, six times eight is 48, and I have a zero to add on, so 480. Okay. Jody practiced longer, and then we can put 480, and we can put 500 and do that. That can be your explanation. Okay. Okay. All right. Yvette's younger brother just turned three years old. Fred's brother is now 30 months old. Whose brother is older? Okay. So we have three years or 30 months. Okay. So we're going to start with what we know. That's our three years. Okay, and in one year, we're trying to get to months, there's 12 months, okay? So now we cross cancel years, and we're left with months, that's good, and three times 12 is 36, okay? So, Yvette, brother, is older because 36 months is bigger than 30 months. And that can be your explanation. Okay, make sure you guys are showing your work though. Okay, all right. So we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check just like always. And we're going to go down to the star review. Okay. Kayla bought nine fourths of a pound of apples. What does that weight as a mixed number? Okay, so 
nine fourths. Now we could subtract and divide and put nine in there and do that. Okay. However, I know that four times two is eight, and nine minus eight is one, and my denominator would stay the same. Okay, that winds up being the same if you do it this way. The two is your big number, the one is your numerator, and you keep your denominator. Okay, all right. Judy, Jeff, and Jim each earned $5.40 raking leaves. How much did they earn together? So, $5.40 times one, two, and three. Okay. Three times zero is zero. Three times four is 12. Carry the one. Three times five is 15. Plus one is 16. We're going to go in one, two times four, the decimal. go. Melinda rode her bike 54 hundredths of a mile to the library. She then rode four tenths of a mile to the store. How far did Melinda ride her bike in all? Well, so we're going to have 54 over 100. And currently we have 4 over 10. Now to get 10 to 100, which would be our common denominator, I would multiply it by 10, which gives me 100. Multiply 4 by 10, I get 40. So now I have 94 over 100 of a mile. Okay, you could also put 94. Oh, it says to write it in a decimal. So you need that four to be in the hundredth place. Okay, so 0.94 mile. Okay, all right. One day the students drank 60 quarts of milk at lunch. How many pints of milk did the students drink? Okay, so 60 quarts. And then one quart. How many pints are in one quart? Let's check our robot. There's a quart, there's one, two pints. Okay, so now we cancel out our quarts. We're left in pints, that's good. Two times six is 12, and then I have a zero to add on. 120 pints. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.8. Come on back for 12.9. See you soon.